CAM Manufacturing Processes CNC Milling Design Milling is the manufacturing process of using rotary cutters to remove material from a workpiece by advancing or feeding in a direction at an angle with the axis of the tool. It covers a wide variety of different operations and machines on scales from small individual parts to large heavy-duty gang milling operations. It is one of the most commonly used processes in industry and machine shops today for machining parts to precise sizes and shapes. CNC is the advent to milling, which is the automation of machining tools that are operated by precisely programmed commands and coded onto a storage medium, computer command module, as opposed to controlled manually by hand wheels or levers or mechanically operated by cams alone. This mode gives a broad range of industrial processes that alter the surface of a manufactured item to achieve certain properties that may be improved appearance, adhesion or wettability, solder ability, corrosion resistance, tarnish resistance, chemical resistance, wear resistance, hardness, modifying electrical conductivity, removing burrs and other surface flaws, controlling the surface friction, or restoring salvaging or or repairing an item. Here we have an assembly name base adjustment setup with the table and vice setup as the machine's environment would be. We will be performing the manufacturing process on this base adjustment workpiece and assigning the rest of the assembly components as a check. To begin, proceed to the applications tab and enter into manufacturing mode. We will use a CAM general session configuration and a setup of mill planner to create our operations. First thing we will do is move our machining coordinate system to where our world coordinate system is, which determines all the results for the G-code. We do so by entering into the Geometries View tab, highlighting, right-clicking, and going to Edit MCS Mill, and positioning it where the WCS is. Now we are able to expand the Geometries tab and double-click our workpiece to assign our part blank and check. This will be our part. The blank is the stock dimensions, which we will use a bounding block geometry type, and assign our check for our vice tables and studs. And to do so, we will select our base adjustment and go to Command Finder and use our all but selected command to select all of the components but the selected one. Then we are able to deselect our component. by using a face method. And hitting OK. Now we are able to start inserting our tool inserts. To do so, we would either be retrieving the dimensions from a drawing or by analyzing the part and creating them accordingly. Using a diameter measure distance, we are able to see we will need a 45 millimeter drill bit, as well as a 25 millimeter, a 20, a 15 millimeter and a 10 millimeter tool sizes to manufacture this part efficiently. To do so, we will enter into the Machine Tool View tab and select Create Tool. Now there's different types of tools for planar, contour, multi-access, hole making, drilling, wire, EDM, probing. For this tutorial, we will use a mill planer set where we're able to retrieve these tools rather than design customized tools. And we will require a mill tool subtype and a ball mill tool subtype. There are also chamfers, spherical, tea cutters, barrels, and thread mill cutters also. First, we will select our tool for milling and use an indexable end mill with a 20 millimeter insert cutter. And now you can see within the machines tool navigator, you can see the tools present. Now we will create our 10 millimeter ball mill for the smallest edge blends. Now we can select our drill sizes for the various holes using a hole making method and starting with a spot drill to create all these pilot holes. We select it and go to retrieve tools 
expand the drilling tab and select a spot drilling classification and choose a 20 millimeter diameter which is due because the diameter of the smallest hole is 20 millimeters now we can create our standard drills as a twist drill for selecting a 45 diameter which is then available in our library so we will select the closest fit and customize it by double selecting it and changing the diameter to 45 and continue on creating our other standard drills next will be 25 millimeters then 20 then create our counter bore bit with a 45 diameter and we will customize the pilot's diameter and length which will be 20 and a length of 12 now we are able to do any further editing to the tools required Now we will create three cavity mill operations for the rough, semi-finish, and finish, and a Z-level profile for the edge blends. And specify the cut area. and create a pattern for follow periphery and we can leave the cut, le cut levels parameters non-cutting moves and feeds and speeds default usually we can optimize the cut levels and non-cutting moves and feed and then set our non-cutting moves by a tr transfer and rapid method between the lowest safest set region of three millimeters of a distance and hit OK. Now we will make two copies of this cavity mill into the 10 diameter tool. The first copy we will make a semi finish, and the second copy will be a finish. Now we can create our Z level profile operation with our ball and mill. As a finish method, we will specify our cut area
we will create the depth per cut as a scallop with a tolerance of 50 thousandths of a millimeter. Set our cutting parameter connection to be direct on the part. Select our non-cutting moves transfer and rapid to be the lowest safest Z region and hit OK. Now we can create our spot and drill operations. and hit OK. Now we can create our drill operations. And lastly, our counter bore. And hit OK. Now we can generate. Accept the paths, then verify. Now we can check our thickness by color and specify any point to see the leftover material, which we are getting one millionth of a millimeter for here, which are all very acceptable values. Now that our manufacturing setup has been designed and programmed, we are now able to post-process the operations and choose what type of CNC milling machine we would like and how many accesses are available for that machine and output it to whichever directory we would prefer. And the software will output the G-code to input into the CNC machine to manufacture this workpiece. And that concludes our basic milling manufacturing tutorial.